for a run vowing to never forget. Today's a day Sacramento remembers the men and women who uh, died during the tragedy of 9 11. And taking part in a special 5K, Sabrina Silva joins us live with the details. Yeah, and you know what? This remembrance is starting early this weekend. And we met two wonderful ladies out here today that are actually, you've come here every year because you lived in New York when 9 11 happened. Isn't that right? Correct. And you had a friend that actually passed away while trying to rescue folks out of that building. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay. Captain Patrick Waters was one of the 343 firefighters that died that day. Wow. And this is something that really changed the country. I mean, it really brought a lot of people together. It was a. a tragedy that we'll never forget and clearly that is why folks are here early this morning on a Sunday to show their respect for those who gave their lives up for something like this but why do you ladies continue to come every single year well there's kids now that are starting in high school and this is just a memory in their textbook but for me it's something I saw at my school window so if I can show a little bit of respect for the people that died that day and for the city as a whole there's no reason I shouldn't do that and this run, having this this weekend, just a couple of days before, you know, the actual date, I mean, and having all of these people coming out, what does this mean to you ladies, knowing that the support is right here in Sacramento, even in the whole other side of the country? It means everything because as being there, um, my office was four blocks away from it, so I got to see it live from my office window. So seeing the support that happens across the country means the world. Um, a lot of the victims are forgotten just because the time has passed. Um, so to be able to come here and at the end of the race, they give you a flag and there's a cutout of the Pentagon that has a hole with every person's name on it that died on 9-11 and you place a flag next to somebody's name and it's the most moving thing that you could possibly do. And I know you ladies just mentioned to me because even though this is a 5K run, there are also some performances and there are some bagpipes that are going to be coming down over here and doing a performance. So why is that so emotional? Because you were telling me, she was telling me folks that I should have some waterproof mascara. And why is that? Because bagpipes are played at firefighters funerals in New York. Um, and you can actually hear them in the background now practicing. It is some of the most moving things. A couple years ago, they played um, Amazing Grace on the bagpipes before the race started. And it's just, it moves you to your core. Well, ladies, I think that we could kick this run off, don't you think? And folks, it is too late to register, so you can't join in the run, but you can still come on out here and support all of the runners that are doing this for the first responders that were out there, you know, putting their lives at risk to save others. So let's do it, ladies. Let's get in here. All right, we'll toss it back to you lovely ladies there in the studio. Ready? Let's go. Woo. Thank you.